loud enough, you think? Yeah. All right, let's see where we are. Hey, hey, we there? Buddy is on. Yeah, I think we are there, man. Ho, 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 ho. You hear that, everybody? That is John Williams and the uh, Boston. Is it the Boston We're Pops on. or the Boston, Boston Philharmonic? Pops. Yeah. Boston Pops. Oops. We're on, folks. <laughs> and it's chilly Ooh. in the studio here. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Let us know here. Give us a <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hello. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That's a great day. Woo -hoo. Well, what I'm do you so want? Excited. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm too old. There we go. Yay! All right. So, what we got going on today, Keith? I guess we missed that joke. The audience must have had an inside joke. <laughs> what is going on? Hey, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? It is time. Is it the second or third? I think it's our second official, second official? Christmas uh, holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas show here at Smack and Jack in lovely yeah. Chester County. And as you can see, it is snowing outside. It, where you are, it might be 45 degrees and raining, but where we are here in the It studios, is snowing in this studio. It is snowing. Whoa. Whoa. And it's really piling so, up, yeah, We too. got our... Uh, I don't have my gloves, so. <laughs> Is that too loud? What? <laughs> let's, let's turn down right. John a little bit. So how about uh, we go through our agenda? Also, uh, we're gonna do a uh, we got our, our prologue. Our first, prologue. Right? We're gonna talk about uh, a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, we got our uh, Christmas. I can't even read you. All right, let me let me go throw this for you, folks. What? <laughs> <laughs> we smack and Jack prologue, which will be coming up right after we get out of this slide here. Then we'll do. Uh, I have a book quote for you, and then we're going to get into our top Christmas songs, uh, some top movies. We're going to do some trivia. We got our Christmas facts going on. Uh, we come back to our trivia answers and in our birthday minute. Yep. Sounds great. Okay. Well, so grab your cup of coffee, uh, get cozy and comfy because it's chilly out there. And we will be right back. All right, here we go. Smack and Jack Studios. It's Smack and Jack Live. There we go. With yeah. your Jack. Keith and Joel Lenderman. Yay! All right. Well, you know. Yeah, welcome back. But this is this is what we get for that uh, that introduction. It sounds like this. <laughs> Guess what? How many days are left till Christmas? How we many are getting days? close. Uh, what is it? The fifteenth. We've is... got nine shopping days left till Christmas. Shut up! <laughs> I'm telling you, that's all we have left. <laughs> Uh, we got our new soundboard, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Our uh, audience soundboard doing yeah. great. We have new sounds. Um, it's only taken, what, about a year for us to get new sounds. Yes. Yep. In addition to our acoustic sounds yeah, that we got. Bells. And uh, Yay. our friend Steve loves the sleigh, uh, well, loves sleigh ride and hey, loves Steve. sleigh bells. Good yeah. morning, everybody, Barbara. Good morning, folks. Good morning, folks. All right. So All right, let's, let's get, get right into, into our, a big show. Um, our, our Smack and Jack prologue. Here okay. we go. So uh, first off, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yeah. everybody. We have uh, 10 days. Today's the 15th. Yes, it is. All right. And then uh, let's see. Um, Christmas oh, tree. Yep, Christmas tree. We have lights going yep. on up here. We already went over the new sounds. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know. You want to go on. Yeah. You want to go on. Okay. All right. So we have that. And, and we are now going to do something very serious, folks. Okay. We have come to a contest of sorts. This is a ho 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 contest. No, <clears throat> are we gonna okay. do this right now? <clears throat> a ho 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 co contest, and the contest is between Keith and me. Okay. All right. So, um, ho 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 ho. ho I guess you're gonna start. Ho, 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 All right. Now ho, it's my ho. turn. Ho ho ho. Your turn. Ho ho ho. Yes. Sounded a little bit like Ed McMahon, didn't it? It did. I'm going for more of the Santa Claus. All right, my turn. We get two more turns. Okay. Or you get one more turn. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> now let's do this one. Oh, okay. 
All right, give us a well, shout out. Who won well, that well, competition? Let us know. Coach. I think who I already won? know who won that one. Boy, I tell you, somebody's been practicing. Okay, so we're going to get into uh, very shortly. We're going to get that into a, forever? that. That that'll stop in a second. <laughs> we have to learn our new soundboard. Uh, as we get into Christmas, remember that books are always a good gift. And uh, I just brought a book that I've been reading. This is a book by Onyx Singal. Um, uh, entrepreneur, of course, he's made millions online and so forth. And he, he didn't go through the, uh, the, the typical story is that you're completely debt and broke, you're penniless, and then you make millions. Well, he didn't really go through that story. He, he made millions and then went into bankrupt and then came back. Wow. Um, so that's kind of his story. But went full um, circle. So when you're looking for items for Christmas and you're not really sure, think about getting books, inspirational books, uh, self-help books, and so forth. Because uh, I'm just going to read a couple quotes from his book here about um, you know the relation between reading and wealth no matter what that wealth is for you okay so he's quoting here 88 percent of wealthy people read at least 30 minutes a day but only two percent of poor people read at least 30 minutes a day 86 percent of wealthy people love to read daily and only 26 percent of poor people love to read daily 85 percent of wealthy people read two or more educational books per month compared to 15 percent of poor people 63% of wealthy people listen to audiobooks while commuting compared to only 5% of poor people. Wow. So I think there is quite a correlation there. Now you could say, well, you know, wealthy people have more time to read. And I, and I think that's true, but I, you know, it's kind of like that, that circular right, effect, yeah. you know? Yes. You, mm -hmm. So take time to improve yourself, no matter what it is, you know, spirituality, health, uh, wealth, money-wise, or something like that. Um, take some time to read and, okay. uh, you know, and. And think about giving books at uh, this time of year. Real yeah. books, actual right. books. A yes. Actual books, yeah, uh -huh. paperback books, yeah. hardback books or something like that. Uh -huh. I, I like that better than reading it on a tablet or something. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. agree. Yes. Okay, totally we're agree. all votes. Yes. Yes. That's all I have. That's all I have about that for this this particular and, show, and folks. You mentioned audio books, and I've never gotten into audio books, and I don't read a whole lot. And I always thought audio books is a great idea. Mm -hmm. So, And they're still around. You can get them on... Uh, yeah, you know what? Those audio books, you can load them onto your phone and have them wherever you go. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I haven't done a whole lot of audio books either, but I But I do to. know people that do that. And, yeah. you know, on their lunch break, they listen yep. to those things. Yeah, it's good. Yep. good Great idea. idea. Yep. Okay, so let's move on to our jokes. Sorry, folks. Our jokes today are not out of the uh, typical Jokopedia book. Where are we here on? Our yeah, we're up here. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Skip. Our, uh, Skip everyone there. Okay. So you ready? You can get your. Uh, oh, okay. You can get your percussion well, going. I'm sorry. You're, you're, uh, come no, on, pick up a piece of junk over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So number one, how did the ornament get addicted to Christmas? How? <laughs> he was hooked on trees his whole life. Nice. <laughs> Woo All right. Okay. What does the Grinch do with the baseball bat? What? Hits a gnome and runs. <laughs> Just two more, folks. What do you call a broke Santa Claus? What? Saint Nicholas. Nice. <laughs> and last one, last one. Um, why did Frosty, Frosty ask for a divorce? Why? His wife was a total flake. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Come very on. Good. You like them? We, we, we put the uh, Jokopedia on hiatus yeah. for the week. Yeah, we wanted something a little bit more. Uh, sorry about that, Brad, but they were good. I yeah. like them. I like them. Okay. They're very seasonal. Okay. We, have, we have so much to do in our show today, yeah. so we had to kind of keep those jokes a little bit short. Okay. Man, whew, it's kind of warming. It huh? really is. <laughs> Folks, well, I, finally starts I, I am going to take off. off my gloves. <clears throat> we're going to start with just the gloves. I'm going to have a sip of very warm coffee. All right. At least not that hot because I got it an hour and a half ago. I was looking right. for Christmas ornaments at Kmart at 8 o'clock this morning. Who does that? Wow. Who goes to Kmart anymore? Who, who, I mean, Raise your I hand got to go up. to Kmart. Shut up! Yes, I was <laughs> up that early. <laughs> I think that's my favorite sound. That is pretty good. Yeah, we have, so we have all these new sounds. Some of the sounds are not really appropriate for uh, the show. but uh, <laughs> Uncle Brad, didn't know if I should laugh or cry after the jokes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Okay, Any so response? moving on. What do we got next over there, Keith? Um, uh, top Christmas songs. Yes. So why don't we take a look at the top Christmas songs. Now, again, you know, most people have, like, their own favorite songs yes. and stuff like this. So, mm -hmm. I, so, so I think this uh, this is kind of, like, based on uh, recordings, playing, uh, buying CDs right. and so mm -hmm. forth yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. So that this is what we have for that. 
Uh, we're going to move over to this slide here. All right, so what is the most recorded, is that the one I want to do first? Yeah, what is the most recorded Christmas song of all time? Do you have a guess on that? Um, Anybody have a guess on I'm the most gonna recorded Christmas I'm going to say White Christmas. Christmas. You're going to say White Christmas? Is that okay. it? I'll be or, is I'm that dreaming of a white No, what's Christmas? I'll Be Home for Christmas? I'll be home for Christmas. Um, I can't remember the title of that. It might be I'll Be Home for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's find out. So, coming in at number four is the Christmas song, and I believe that that one is Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Okay. Right? Okay. I think that's right. that yep. song. Uh, the next one is Jingle Bells. Okay. Okay, we all know about we Jingle know Bells. Yep. Yeah. We all know how to play, too. Yeah. All right. Number two. Coming in at number two is White Christmas. Okay. 1940. Yeah. 1940. Okay. The number one Christmas song... Um, uh, what's what is it? what are we doing right now? The most recorded Christmas song. All right, so the number <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> the so number Christmas one song. is Silent Night. Oh, get yeah, out of town. That? It's had Night. a lot more time too. It, it has right. 1818. 1818. Wow. Yeah. So the number one Christmas song, most recorded Christmas song of all time, is Silent Night. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's go on to our next slide here. This is the number one selling Christmas song of all time. Okay. Okay. Number one selling Christmas song um, of all time is what do you think? Selling, uh, rocking around the Christmas tree. All right. Here we go. Let's find out. If Uncle Keith is right. Three, two, one. White Christmas. Ah, According to the Guinness Book okay. of World Records, White Christmas by Bing Crosby is okay. not only the best-selling Christmas holiday single in the United States, but also the best-selling single of all time, with estimates uh, estimated sales in excess of 50 million. Best-selling single, regardless yeah. of Christmas yeah. or not. So right. um, I'm not sure exactly when this particular stat was made or, uh, you know, uh, found by Guinness, but uh, that's pretty That's pretty. Impressive. He probably went to Guinness and beat him. Oh, <laughs> not, not good, huh? Man, your your jokes today yeah. a little bit out of line uh, for our show. <laughs> for our Christmas for our show. show. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Top twelve. Uh, we're going to do the top twelve movies. Why top twelve? Because they had twenty. Uh, Brad got the, uh, and so did Steve. And uh, yeah, yeah, good job, awesome. Steve. Okay. All right, I got to keep up with our comments yes. over here, man. I, that's, and how about you keep up with the comments? I'll, I'll try. Yeah, you keep up the comments on your smanky new phone uh, over my, there. My new, uh, my new. Yeah, uh, did, did you want to share everybody your Samsung? Your brand new phone what is this? Yeah, I think it's what Lynn and Brad have. So Christmas came early, right, Uncle Keith. Yes, yeah, still don't know how to work it, but uh, funny if you call me, I, I can't answer because you got to swipe and push, and <laughs> I'll figure. <laughs> I can. I can't answer the phone. You have to wait until there's like three cracks in the screen. Yes. And, and all that first, right? right? Yes. Okay. So let's get on to our um, uh, the, be the the top uh, movies. Okay. Okay. The top 12 movies. And what's um, your... Always uh, chime in with what your favorite movie is. Yeah. We just watched one last weekend. It was silly. I won't say because it might be on this thing, but... Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? What? I'm trying to remember... What you watched last weekend? Uh, with with Linda Brad. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so let me see if I can get rid of this special offer. Okay, so this is right off the EW.com website, Entertainment, Entertainment Weekly. So number twelve, Trading Places. Now they even say it's not really a Christmas movie, and I agree with that too. So I just put that up there because it's number twelve. Film to Philadelphia. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So that does Back count. Back when Eddie was funny. Yeah, it does count for something if it's in Philly. All right, yeah. so next one at number eleven. <clears throat> Once we get through this advertisement, number eleven is uh, Home Alone. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yep. Home Alone. Uh, yeah, I take that one. Yep, that's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Uh, number ten, oh, Rudolph yeah. the Red Nosed Reindeer. I am disappointed. I thought this should be up at like number four. Yeah, three. it's probably my favorite. Yeah. All right. Because I always wanted to be a dentist too. Number nine, The Year Without Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought that would be up a little bit higher too. Because these guys are funny. <laughs> I like them. All right, number eight. Number eight, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Boy, I wish I could get rid of all these advertisements, folks. Uh, 92. Is that, uh, is that, is that Michael Caine? Um, it looks like it in there. Uh, I've never seen it. Uh, Michael Caine. Yeah, okay. As Ebenezer. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen this one either, and they were even saying I wish it was on TV more often. I, yeah. and so, I, you know, it does have credit. All right, let's move on. Bad Santa, okay. 2003. I have never seen this movie. Billy Bob Thornton. No, I haven't yeah. either, and, uh. So let us know if it's any good or yeah, not. We'll have if to you've watch seen it. that movie, Bad Santa, let us know. Is it okay? Should we leave it alone? Is it worth it? All right. 
Love that Actually. Here's yeah. another one that. Uh, Love Actually. That's a. Yeah. I, Christmas. Oh, okay. No, I guess it is. Yeah. All right. Steve's saying uh, Charlie Brown has to be number one, or it's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Brad's saying Christmas Vacation. Um, <laughs> that's what. Miracle we're on Thirty Fourth Street has to be number one. Okay. okay. Hmm. Let's find well, we're out. Getting close. Let's yeah, see we're happens. getting close. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay, number five. <clears throat> number five, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Okay, this yeah. is the yeah. 1966 cartoon. As opposed to the, uh, the one, the, the uh, new one with Will Ferrell. Uh, no, um, a new one. Carrie. Um, Jim Carrey. Oh, right, Jim, Jim Carrey, right. Yeah. Is that, and that, is that one called The Grinch Stole I think I it might remember. just call That's it That's actually a pretty good movie. I like that one. Uh, okay, number four, Elf. Oh, okay. That's Elf. What this I this is actually a, a good movie. Yeah. We, I enjoy watching that movie. It's funny. Number three, oh, no, okay. Charlie Brown. Very good. 1965. Okay, 1965. All right, Charlie Brown. Number a little, little trivia there. Who can name the trio that played the music for the Christmas? Uh, I bet Steve can. Yes. Steve, I can't remember who it is. Uh, it's um, it is a trio. I, I remember the first name. Okay, I'll let somebody else answer that. I think I have it. Okay, number two, number two, a Christmas story. Oh, Linda's favorite Christmas oh, story, nineteen eighty-three. Yeah. You know what? Wow. I have not watched that movie all the way through in my entire life. Yeah, and I want to keep it that way for me. Uh, no, actually, it's it's a pretty funny movie. Yeah, okay. Um, we watched half of it the other night, and then Caroline had to go to bed, so we stopped okay. it, and we still need to finish it. Okay. So we're about halfway through. Uh, we'll finish that one up. All right, yeah, can we get a drum roll a here? Okay. All right, uh, good, good job. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Good Very job. Good. I knew Steve was going to that. All right, so drum roll. Uh, uh, I'm drum sorry. roll. All yeah, right, number, number one according to Entertainment Weekly. Whoops, almost knocked over the Christmas tree here. Again. It is. It's a wonderful uh, life. Yeah, bravo, bravo. Very good. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. People had it too. Very good. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just I just 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 gotta say it, it just doesn't doesn't just doesn't matter it just, just doesn't matter. I never saw that movie either. That was good, really. Yeah. Yeah, I actually it's, I did it's see the Themis's house once, and uh, it was scary. It's the black and white. I don't know the whole. It's scary. Gotcha. I mean, I, I, I love that movie. Scary, yes. I, haven't, I, haven't, I didn't watch it last year. I normally watch it once every year. Uh, uh, what what year was that out? Uh, 1946. 1946. Yeah, can you imagine wow. that, man? 1946. That's incredible. That's yeah. 72 years ago. Yeah. Okay, very good, All very right. good. Uh, so, okay, so that's our uh, movies. All right, so let's move on, folks. We got a lot more to do. Yes, we do. Can you let's, shut them up? I, I can't. I, I'm afraid to hit it again. That's how we shut up the crowd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. So we're on now how to um, uh, Christmas trivia and facts here. Okay. All right, so let's do our trivia first. All right, get ready to start typing here, folks. Good to see so many people on today. Yes. All right. How many gifts would you receive if you received all of the gifts in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas? How many oh. gifts would you receive? Right. All right, number okay. two. Number two. Get your pens out now. Yeah. <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a 2000 American Christmas fantasy comedy film starring which actor as the Grinch? I think we were we just, just talking yes, about that. And it right? is the same name. All right. What famous Christmas legend did a Montgomery Ward advertising man create as a part of his job? And if you were watching last week or the week before. You have that one. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. In what two-act ballet does a toy maker's goddaughter travel to a land of sweets on Christmas Eve? Man, these are just mm. so easy today. I can hardly stand it. <laughs> Practically embarrassing. <laughs> yes. All right. According to the popular Christmas song, Frosty the Snowman, what are the snowman's eyes made out of? Oh, pretty I I, good. I think I actually know that. Uh, it's a hint. It's what uh, I usually get for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a children's book by written by which American author? And again, I think if you were paying attention last week, I'm pretty sure we had this one on. This okay. Week, right? All right, so let's go back to a quick review. How many gifts would you receive if you got uh, gifts on the 12 days of Christmas? Okay, how many gifts would you receive? Uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 2000. Uh, what was the famous actor in that as the Grinch? What famous Christmas legend did a Montgomery Ward advertising man create to start his job? And what was the two-act ballet as a toy maker's goddaughter? Land of Sweets and Christmas Eve. What are the eyes in Frosty the Snowman? And How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a children's book written by which American author? Okay, okay so go ahead and start yeah. writing yep. in there. Yeah, I'm seeing some good responses here. 
Okay, I'll see. Yeah, I got some good responses too. Yeah. So we'll, we'll okay. Uh, yep. All right. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. Let's get on to um, stocking stuffers. Now, okay. if you are kind of in the last minute gear, now we still have ten days, yes. not nine shopping days right. until yes. Christmas, mm -hmm. right? So we're. I don't think we're in last minute yet, but we're getting. We're, we're like getting in the last close. hour. Yes. Right. Last hour. Right. Okay. So. Um, Let's run through a few things. This will give you some ideas if you're kind of stuck on somebody. Last week, go back and watch our show. We did a bunch of stuff last week as far as some you know bigger ticket items. Uh, but let's get through these, okay? Commentary from Keith. I'll, I'll right tell away, you, should I, yeah. my commentary before you start this? Go ahead. Gear tie. If, if somebody gave me a gear tie in a, as a stocking stuffer, I'm thinking, you must have had this laying around in the bottom of a drawer for two years. But anyway, it's, I guess it's useful, right? Uh, right. So gear ties are like little twisties, right? Yes. That you put around things. Okay. Yes. Very good. Dill pickle lip balm. Yeah. Oh, I think that the, yeah, the, so uh, the ties are looking better all the time. Mint is out. Dill pickle is in. Wow. <laughs> Mouse pad ha hand warmer. We should have had that today. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we could have two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, LOL, LOL Surprise Little Sisters Ball. Okay, so this is a ball with a little doll in Maybe I can make this bigger. I hesitate to make this bigger because uh, because then I can't get out of it sometimes. Okay, <clears throat> so a lightweight color block medium cross body bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> body bag. <laughs> cross. Uh. cross so well, I, guess you I love the description. It comes in 22 different colors. So whether your recipient's style is more neutral <laughs> It or doesn't bold. say. It doesn't say whether her style says whether you're a recipient style. Right. I want to get you one of these. <laughs> good. Yeah, I would look good with my outfit. All right, pop socket. So these are things you put on the back of your uh, uh, your cell phone to, to hold it and all that uh, stuff. Right, Girls yes. have that. Yes. It looks like a plant holder or something. What are they it's, for? Oh, they, so they just kind of hold. hold. Yeah, it okay. just helps you hold it. Okay. okay. Remember this guy? Yes. Bob Ross, the joy of painting. So talking about books and so forth. There you go. Yes. All right, bag of unicorn toot. We talked about that one last year or last week. A New York Times uh, Monday crosswords crossword okay. book. All right, relative insanity party game. Well, we wouldn't need that. No, we don't, we we don't party. Already. Right, Gilmore pencil set. Uh, pencils of any kind is cool. Gilmore right. girl, yeah. Uh, okay. Nightlight salt nightlight. If you need more salt in your life, I don't know. Himalayan salt. Wow, that's kind of neat. Yeah, chocolate video game controller. Now this is what everybody needs. A chocolate, so it can just kind of. Is it real chocolate? It is chocolate. Yeah. Made to order chocolate. Yeah. It almost looks too good to eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. In Invisible. You know what? I wish I'd read the description of this earlier, but I didn't. Okay. Something else. Uh, but the, <laughs> so these are glasses you put over your eyes, and you can read your book as you're laying in bed. Nice. Or you can watch TV. That is awesome. I'm I'm curious to see what the reviews on them are. I did yeah. not check the reviews. Okay. This is stainless steel drinking straws, and it comes with a cleaner. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So instead of throwing your straw away every time you use it, you clean and it out. And all those gets into the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Okay. Great idea. Uh, shampoo. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't you like to receive some shampoo? <laughs> right. <laughs> Something else that's in the bottom of the cabinet. Yeah, reusable shopping <laughs> bag, because it's better to have this one than one of the ones that you buy for and a dollar. In that, in that. Yep, that pattern is pattern, beautiful. yes. Yep, okay. Uh, avocado slicer. Nice. You were looking for yes. one of these, yeah? Okay. Uh, this is cool. A selfie light ring. So, you, you know, to get more light for your selfies. Right. I yes. kind of like that. I like that idea. All right. Smith's Rosebud. Uh, how do you say that? Salve? Salve. Salve. I swear, the words that I never spell or see are really hard for me. All right, come on, come on, come on. Sunflower <laughs> in a bag. Grow kit. Yay, we need more sunflowers. All right. Recess face and body wipes. Recess. What's the recess? I don't know. <laughs> Queer eye enamel pin. I don't know. What? Remember these are uh, personalized teether. Yay! You need one of them. Yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> it could be dipped in uh, Jim Beam or something. Uh, Hydra solution. Yay! Yay! More socks. Oh, More okay, socks. Yeah, Give me yeah. some wine mm -hmm. socks. Uh, these are things you put over your eyes, right? So therap therapeutic sleep mask. Yay! All right, what else we got here? I always figure that's got to be kind of uncomfortable having something strapped around your skin head. Skin lotion. Oh, sure. All right, we need more skin lotion. Yeah. Yay. A pocket knife. Yes. Mm. yes. Interesting that after the skin lotion, we have a pocket knife. Right. <laughs> Get this lotion <laughs> off of me. <laughs> World Unicorn playing cards. Yeah, everybody okay. needs yes. uh, unicorn Uncle playing Brad cards. needs them. Wood cufflinks. These are kind of nice. nice. Yeah. I like them. Okay. You can personalize them. They're, you know, 11, 12 hours, probably yeah. like 35 hours for shipping. But all right. Beanie bottle stopper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Kind of cute. Uh, a mug. Okay. A mug. Yep. Very good. Uh, wine away stain remover. Now there is a nice one to put in a stocking for Christmas. Uh, digital watch. <laughs> yep. Paw Patrol. Digital watch. Um, now you need some of this, right? Uh -huh. Nail polish and top coat kit. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, bicycle repair kit. Yay. Also need one of those. <laughs> That's right. In case you get a bicycle. <laughs> Potpourri before you go toilet spray. Yay. Everybody needs that. It's, uh, it's poopery. And actually, poopery. Uh, poopery. Brian and Karen. Oh, oh, right, right, right. That. That poopery. Is, uh, That's right. That's right. That's yes. right, right. Get it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Punderdome, a card game for pun lovers. Yay, I kind of like that one too. Puns, right? Pardon the pun. Gringo, Benio hot sauce variety pack. Ah, oh, I know a lot yes. of people like that. Yes. You know, variety pack right. hot sauce. Yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. A unicorn shower cap. Now, nice. wouldn't you look adorable in that? Yes. I mean, it might even outdo your uh, your elf cap here. And somebody has a lot of hair that doesn't like to wash it every single day. I struggle with not getting it wet and all that. So it's a very good idea. It, very good idea. <laughs> Inflatable neck travel pillow. If you travel. Or if you need to blow something up, I guess. <laughs> Card holder pockets. Okay. Because you can't put them in your wallet. You gotta attach them to your phone. So if you lose your phone, you've lost everything. You've lost Good all your ideas too. Yes. Yeah. Great idea. Hockey puck chillers. Now ah. I read through this one and I think you put these chillers like in the bottom of your glass right. and then right, which I don't really Well, like I that. guess these things are frozen. Yeah, they make these all sorts of freezable stuff that, yeah, I don't know if I like it. Yeah, either. I don't like. I wouldn't mind putting the glass on top of it, yeah, kind of as a coaster yeah, type right. thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just weird in that way. Deodorant, aluminum free deodorant. Oh. Yeah, because I, you know, when I put that aluminum foil on her hair, it's yeah, I know. scratchy, irritates a little well, bit. Well, it messes up my uh, fillings yeah. that I have. Cat made. teacup with lid and strainer. All right, so yeah, if you need like an elaborate yeah. uh, teacup, there you go. Good for your, your cat loving right. friends, yeah. Uh, body brush, right? In That's, case, you yeah, know, you I really used to have one get, of them, actually. You really want to get yourself clean yeah. in, in the, you know, the, whatever's it. Life worry doll. I have no idea what this I is. I have no idea. No yeah. idea. Let's pass by it. All right. Um, this is something you can attach your um, your phone to your, um, you know, your vent in your right. car in case you're navigating. Okay. Right. All right. Good idea. Easy way to break your vent in your car. Yeah. Yep. Uh, drumsticks, oh, drumstick nice. pens. Yeah, I wow. knew this would excite uh, you. Caroline and Sophia, I think you should, if you're watching, uh, <laughs> great gift idea for Uncle Keith. All right, treat yourself, treat yourself spoon. <laughs> treat yourself. Treat, treat yourself, because you all need more spoons, right? And all grammar right. lessons. Chop sabers. So these are light up uh, ah, nice. chopsticks. Okay. All right, very good, a couple more. Old English cider wassail. All right, so you put that into your, okay, your nice. cider, right? Yeah. Something, mm -hmm. Make something like that. All right, very good. Oh, we all need these beer socks. Yes. They come in a beer can that you can put the lid back right. on. Right, yes. All that, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't know if the beer can is like actual use, actually usable, though. Uh, you could probably pour, yeah, I don't know. You know? Yeah. All right, what do we got? Fruit infusing ice balls. Okay. <laughs> so, <Does> everybody's. <laughs> Everybody's still with us. <laughs> Initial necklace. I don't know. Pillowcases. All right. Everybody needs new pillowcases. Sure, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We got two more. Pin it. Oh, it's the no, same. That's as the, it. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. We're done. We okay. are done. Very so good. Bravo. Very good. A round of applause for. Hope that we uh, gave and you some, some ideas. Some people were very glad that we're done. Yeah. So I'm. I'm hoping you got a couple ideas. If you're still. If you're still looking for something. The last couple. Last minute yeah. things is silly things that you see when you're out doing your last bit of shopping. All right. Or was sailing. All right. Now, let's move on to a little bit of a Christmas. You know what? Why don't you get, go put the sleigh ride back on? Okay, Turn it down yeah. a little bit. Okay. And we'll go through our Christmas facts. So we have some neat Christmas facts. One of the uh, the questions that I asked in our post was, for what occasion was um, Jingle Bells actually written? And if anybody knows out there... <laughs> Steve says, I think Frosty is looking for those ice balls. <laughs> Love it. All right. Who can tell us for what occasion was uh, Jingle Bells originally composed? You have any guesses there? What occasion? No. For what know. occasion was Jingle Bells originally composed? All right. Somebody chime in. What do you think? And we're going to get on to this Christmas trivia right now. All right. So let's get back here. Uh, Christmas facts. Trivia. All right. Amazing Christmas facts. The tallest Christmas tree ever displayed was in Seattle, Washington. It was measured 221 feet tall. 
Buying the gifts from the 12 days of Christmas would cost a ton of money, the most expensive being swans of swimming, $6,300, okay? And we have wow. to get back to that trivia. Yes, right. Okay, all right, let's zip through these here. Candy cane was invented in Germany. It was made for J for Jesus. The red stripe wow. symbolizes blood. That's something I did wow. not okay. know. Black Friday is not the busiest shopping day of the year. The two days right before Christmas are. Do we have any okay. answers yet? Oh, Barbara's saying Thanksgiving for Jingle Bells. I wonder if she's on to something. Oh. Third of the 20 highest grossing movies were released during Christmas season, proving that going to the movies after opening popular gifts is a popular tradition. Tradition in Japan to eat KFC for Christmas. Orders must be placed two months in advance. I find that really wow. interesting. Yeah. Jingle Bells, here it is, folks, was originally a song about Thanksgiving or uh, not necessarily, I don't think it was actually about Thanksgiving, but it was written for Thanksgiving in 1857. It was also the first song ever played in space by astronauts uh, Walter Sierra Jr. and Thomas P. Stafford. Very good, Barbara. Very okay. good. Yeah, written by James Pierpont in 1857. And um, it was actually composed for the sleigh races that they had around the Boston area at that time. Oh, okay. okay from what I was reading. Okay. okay, I knew it was Thanksgiving. All right, one of three men wait until Christmas Eve to do the shopping. Okay. Yeah, you are one of those. Yes. Christmas came from the words Christe Masse, meaning Mass of Christ. Oh, Christmas cool. trees usually go for close to 15 years before they can be sold. Can you believe that? I can. Huh. Rudolph yes. the Red-Nosed Reindeers uh, got his reindeer got his start advertising gimmick for Montgomery Ward in 1839. So again, another one of our uh, uh, trivia. Trivia. Yeah. Uh, Paul McCartney Christmas. earns four hundred thousand dollars a year from his wonderful Christmas time song, which is widely regarded as the worst song he ever recorded. Uh, I'll agree. Yeah, I agree with that too. Can you believe that though? Four hundred grand a year off mm, of one on song that stinks. That yeah. is great. More than four hundred thousand illnesses are caused by. I like that word. Spoilt Christmas leftovers. I would say spoiled. Yeah, spoiled. But spoiled. Christmas used to be illegal. Oklahoma was the last U.S. state to declare a Christmas illegal holiday in 1907. Wow. Christmas is not Christ's birthday, as many believe. According to the Bible, Christ was actually not even born in the winter. Yes. I think we all kind of yes. agreed to that long ago, that it's, you know, the original... Well, to this day, I don't think anybody's born in the winter, right? Isn't it just easier because it's warmer out? Uh, anyway. <clears throat> the original location for 1947 on Miracle 34 was New York Macy's in Herald Square. However, for the remake in 1994, Macy's refused to participate. Therefore, a fictional store, Kohl's, was created. Oh, Interesting, yeah. Huh. Toys for Tots was found in Los, An in Los Angeles. 5,000 toys were collected during the first drive in 1947. Handmade doll was the first donation. Okay, let's just do a couple more here. Bill Crosby's version of Bing. White... Bing. I'm sorry, <laughs> Bill. Bing Crosby. Version of White Christmas is the highest selling single of all time. Yep. It only took six weeks for Carl Charles Dickens to write A Christmas Carol. Wow. Americans purchase 1.6 billion Christmas cards every year. All right. Visa cards are used about 6,000 times every minute during the Christmas season. Wow. Yeah. Franklin wow. Pierce was the first president who picked, put up an official White House Christmas tree. Okay. And the last three, December 25th, was the likely chosen because it coincides with the pagan festival Saturnalia, mm. where there was partying, gambling, and gift giving. I see. Christmas lights were so expensive that they used to be rented rather than sold. An electrically lit tree was a status symbol in the early 1900s. No kidding. Now, if you think about early 1900s, our mom was born in 1923. Uh, yep. So she was, you know, right on the cusp, right, right in that area yeah, there. And okay. Treasure Island writer Robert Louis Stevenson willed his November 13th birthday to the daughter of a friend who hated her Christmas birthday. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. All right. So there's right, plenty Rob more to look at. Yes, Go yes. on to berries.com. There's plenty more to read there. Uh, but we need to move on. Yes, All right. Are. Let's get back to our trivia. Our trivia answers. Should right. I keep this? This is Vince here. Should I keep him Yeah. Going? Keep Vince on. Okay. How many gifts would you receive if you received all the Christmas gifts in the song 12 uh, Days now, of Christmas? Wait, hold on a second. Uh, Brad says 78. Do we have anybody else that... Uh, yeah, somebody did some math in here. All right. The answer is... Oh. 364. Maybe that's not what wow. his answer is for. Okay, 364. Off, but, uh, all right, what else we got here? All right, other than the Frosty looking for the ice balls. Uh, <laughs> 
All right. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a 2000 American Christmas fantasy comedy film starring which actor as the Grinch? And we knew that was Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah, okay. What famous yep. legend did a Montgomery Ward advertising man create as part of his job? Uh, 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 Rudolph the Red Rudolph. Nose Rudolph. I, I like <laughs> Frosty the Red Nose. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph. 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 Uh, let's see. Where's our uh, rim shot? There, there we, we go. go. Okay, in what two-act ballet toy maker? We all know this one, the Nutcracker. Right. According to the popular Christmas song, Frosty Snowman, what are the snowman's eyes made out of? Coal. And the answer being coal. And we got Yay. somebody said that. Nice. Uh, yep, Brian Steve Smith chimed in on that. Um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a children's book written by which American author? We got this one last week. All uh, right, Dr. Dr. Seuss. Seuss. Right. And Yay. somebody got that. Dr. Uh, Seuss. Yep. All right. Nice job, folks. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Let's get out of our trivia. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. So I think, man, we have we have packed a lot into this show today. Uh, I am exhausted. And I'm, I'm exhausted. And I'm. I have to be honest. I'm like overheating. I'm. I'm a little warm myself. I am a little warm under I the collar. I am power. kind of hot right now, <laughs> folks. I'll tell you, Joe. We look great. And I gotta say, thank you very much. Merry Christmas to my. Uh, what are my co-anchor here? Uh, it's been a great year for Smack and Jack. We've done a yeah. lot of things. I think we've reached a lot of people. We've had a great time every Saturday morning, and just, yeah, tonight, at, at the very least, you and I get together. Yeah, once a yeah. Week, have you know? a cup of coffee. Have a couple of snacks. Yeah. It's great to see family, and uh, just stay tuned for the for the coming year. We're gonna come back with even some funnier stuff. So let's move on to uh, funnier and more educational. Yes. Well. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> Just keep everything. Uh, let's move on to our ever popular birthday, birthday minute. Birthday minute, all right. Here we go, folks. Let me find that slide, and off we go. Birthday minute, birthday minute, birthday minute. No sound for the birthday minute, birthday minute, birthday minute. Ooh. Smack and Jack birthday <laughs> minute. <laughs> Yeah. I, I will say the one thing that I definitely need to do um, is, is fix the sound system on this particular. Uh, I did get a, uh, what are these things called? Uh, a, tablet. a tablet. Maybe yeah. we can get the sound on my tablet Ooh, somehow and I can just that would the sound That would require said brother to actually doing know what something. he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and we'll look into that. Video. Okay, what do you got there for our celebrity uh, birthdays? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, okay, Tim Conway. He was on the Carol Burnett Show. He's a comedian. Born this day in 1933. Uh, Don Johnson from Miami Vice. Remember Don? Ooh, Born this yeah. day in 1949. Yeah. Here's, here's a tidbit for you. I have a tuxedo. Steve, if you're still watching, you probably know what my tuxedo looks like. It is a Miami Vice tuxedo. Whoa. That I bought when I was still in college. Wow, and that's okay. the one that I that's the one I'm gonna be wearing on Monday night for our concert. Nice, awesome, very good. <laughs> yeah. Miami Vice. And he's probably not making four hundred million dollars a year. Uh, probably not. On, on, on that. Uh, let me see. Who else? Uh, J. Paul Getty. Born 1892 on this day. He was a businessman. I think of nice. an oil tycoon, too. Yeah, is that the Getty guy? Uh, yep. And Paul Simonon, not to be uh, confused with Paul Simon. Paul Simonon was a bass player from The Clash, one of my favorite bands of all time. Oh, yes. Clash. Okay, Happy so birthday, here are some birthdays. Closer to home. Close to home. Okay, starting today on the 15th. Got a little drums going on Okay, yep, I do. As soon as you find your sticks there. Okay, so starting today, we got Timmy. Happy birthday, Timmy. Alika. Happy birthday, Alika and Wayne today. Happy birthday today, folks. Ooh, December the 15th. All right, tomorrow the 16th, we have Bill, Jen, Mike, and Paul. Happy birthday, guys, tomorrow on the 16th. On Monday the 17th, we have Erica, George, Christina, Marcus, and Vince. Happy birthday, guys. Happy Mars birthday. 17th, yep. Monday. All right, Tuesday. Let's have a great birthday on Tuesday for Luke and Mike. Happy Yay. birthday on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we have Kelly and Kim. All right. Happy birthday, guys. All right, on Thursday, we have Betsy. Happy hey, birthday. all to yourself, Betsy, on Thursday. <laughs> Friday the 21st, we have Carlos and Jim. Ooh. And next Saturday the 22nd, happy birthday to Matt. Okay, so whoever's, Ooh. everybody who's celebrating a birthday this week, have a happy birthday. We hope you have a great week. Very good, very good. What a great week to have a birthday, right? 
That's right. I think that's my favorite new sound. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. All right, let's get ourselves out of the birthday minute. Here we go. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. All right, so that brings us to uh, are we done? <sighs> the end of our I'm show. I'm losing my voice. Okay, so um, remember, we still have stickers. Yep, yeah, still have stickers. And that's Magnets. it should have been part of our uh, uh, stocking stuffers. These are great stocking stuffers. That's true, St- yeah. Can't even say. Stickers? Stickers, magnets, and... And we have pens. Pens, yeah, and those just, pens work. We've had them for yeah. a couple of months, and just I use them every know. day here at the shop. Let us know. So, yeah, we'll send so, some of uh, that out for you. So we're going to say that next week we're not going to be on. Okay, so um, this is our this is Merry the, Christmas. The Christmas. Yes. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, next week I'm busy. I have brass rehearsals at church. And, it is getting you know, very it's, close. It's really close. To now, are we thinking about a New Year's Eve? We show? will have our uh, well, we'll have our New Year's celebration two weeks from today. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. And then whether we have an actual New Year's Eve show, that'll be up well, here. But our New Year's celebration our will New be two Year's weeks show from today. in two, two okay. weeks. Okay. So again, we're going to have the countdown timer. We're going to have our champagne. Oh we're right. Have yes. Our, our ball that drops down. Right, yep, All right. Yep, so we're yep. gonna have lots of fun, and you can join us in on that fun and help us count down to the new year, 2019. Wow, been yeah. a quick year, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And but let's not rush it. No, let's not because rush we are still well into De- uh, December of 2018 upon the Christmas Eve. Yes. Season. So. Uh, All right. So That's about I, it. Thank I you very much. Is, Merry uh, Christmas, everybody, and give love this year. You know, let's not forget about what the season is. The season is joy and just be. Go out and say hi to everybody and just just have a great time. So, uh, once again, you deserve a thought of your own. So, be in touch and you're going to have to sing the song because, again, uh, my, uh, oh, my speaker's <laughs> not on. <laughs> it was on before. My speaker is, was off. All Merry right, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, enjoy. Thanks for watching today. Merry Christmas. We'll see you in two weeks. See you next time. All right, bye-bye.